came and helped me through when I let go. You came from out the blue, never have known what I've done without you. It's going to be a guitar lesson for Dark Sweet Lady by George Harrison off the George Harrison album. The song has been requested heavily on my channel. Uh, it's a bit of a tricky song, so it took me a little while to kind of work on it. But I think I got a decent version going of the song, so hopefully this will help you. As always, play this your own way. You could play this a lot of different ways. Uh, but this is my arrangement, um, and you can play along to the uh, recording, George's recording, with these chords. The guitar is in standard tuning. I'm not using a capo. So we're going to start. Uh, the song is basically in D, D major. So the, the initial, what I'm hearing on the initial run, that. So it's on the fifth string, 0, 2, 4. On the fourth string, 0, 2, 3, and then 4. And that really starts the chord, a D over F sharp, kind of the John Lennon D chord, the banjo chord. And then you're, you're in a D. So again. And then I just start with a D chord there. So then we start the verse. Um, well, let me do that first. So that's kind of the, the first run through. Now the next time through, So it's a little different. It's it's on the fourth string, two, zero, two, four, open three, four, um, two, four, zero. So sorry, zero, two, four, open three, two, four, open four. That takes you to the D. So that's the two little riffs in the song. So again, it starts D. Then the next chord, it's a diminished chord. I think it's a D diminished. Um, you would play the full chord, that kind of, um, I'm sorry, augmented, I should say. It's an augmented chord. Um, but I'm just playing with the high E opening on the third fret, the second and third strings, and on the fourth string at the fourth fret. And then the high E is open. That's how I'm hearing that. So again, a D, then that augmented chord to a C9, a C9 chord. And if you want to add the bass note, it's a B flat, that takes it down to an A7. And then I add, I guess it's an A6 now, but um, I'm gonna add 
the high F sharp on the high E string to a D. C9. The B flat note if you want it. A7. Then add the little high F sharp to D. And now we're going to walk it down. So you're in a D, D flat, or C sharp to a B minor. You came and helped me through. Help me F or F sharp seventh, whichever you prefer, back to B minor. So it's a B minor. You came in F sharp back to B minor to the C9, the C9, same chord. When I let go D, then walk it down. So a D, walk it down to B minor. You came from F sharp back to B minor, C9. Never have known what I have done. A seventh without you. And then you're back to the D. Then the augmented chord, C9. A seventh, add the F sharp to D. And then that little room. D, the augmented to C9. And at the outro, a7 back to C9 B flat A7 Dark C9 And the last time A7 add the F sharp and then you're back to that I think it's that augmented chord back to D and then the same so it's that same figure. It's on the fourth string, zero, two, four, open, third string, then two on the four, then four, and then open D. That is Dark Sweet Lady by George Harrison. Thank you, thank you folks for all the requests for this. I hope that satisfied you. Um, this is a difficult song uh, for beginners, I would say for sure. It's probably intermediate level. This is pushing my guitar ability, but um, I think, you know, I, I think I've simplified it enough so it's playable. I hope so. Uh, thank you so much, folks, for watching. Again, the great George Harrison, uh, my dark, uh, my dark sweet lady, not my dark sweet lady, a uh, dark sweet lady, of course, dedicated, written for Olivia, um, off the great George Harrison album. Thank you, folks. I'll see you soon. Stay safe.